are watching Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the first album by Motorhead, my absolutely favorite man of all time. It's a self-titled album. Let's just, let's just look at that cover for a second. Isn't that just beautifully simple? <laughs> It's the best way to say it, really. And here's the back with the track list and all. The inside sleeve is also kind of interesting. As you can see a lot of classic photos of the band. I'm, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this album. Um, I feel like it's a solid uh, debut album. However, I really feel like Motorhead just over the years became better and better. You know, I mean, even the album that came afterwards, Overkill, I mean, that's a way better album than this one. Not by any means am I saying that this is a bad album because I, I do also love this album, but I feel like Motorhead just kept getting better and better. And I think uh, my ranking video that I did a, a month or so ago really shows that as well. And this release, uh, this is the one I always listen to. This one also features Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers on parole intro and I'm Your Witch Doctor. Also The Watcher, Train Captain Rolling and City Kids. I'm not sure how much the, uh, of those songs the original has. Uh, but I know that before they recorded this, they also recorded another one, which would be On Parole, but it's with a whole different band. It's kind of a weird situation that they were in. And um, they didn't even want to um, have On Parole be pre released, but it was. So they kind of got screwed over by some record company, Filthy Bastards. But let's just go over this album song by song. It opens up with Motorhead, which I just love. The fact that they did a, a self-titled song on a self-titled album. I just always love it when bands do that. I think Black Sabbath has that too. Like a Black Sabbath on Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. <laughs> and I love the song. It speaks for itself. It has a great drum intro, which is which basically just starts the album with a bang. It has like a nice build up, nice flow to it. However, it is really, like overall with this album, it's a more of a punk album, honestly. It just reminds you of like uh, Ramones or Sex Pistols or something. It doesn't really have that unique Motorhead sound yet. Sure, the bass is really loud and cranked up. However, in, in later albums, it would be cranked up and louder even more than it is in here. Uh, and it would definitely get more of that signature sound that Lemmy has. However, I do enjoy these songs. And Motorhead is a good opening track, and I think it's just a banger. Then you get Vibrator, which is um, about a vibrator. You know, with, with these songs too, it sounds like Motorhead covering Hawkwind. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of um, a lot of these songs are kind of like a Hawkwind kind of feel to it, which I don't hate. And I think Vibrator almost sounds like a, like a Ramon song, you know? You know, the way he's singing Vibrator and like repeating, repeating it like five, 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 Vibrator, you know? It's, um, that sounds more like a Ramones sort of thing to do, you know? It's not really a Lemmy thing, I think. So it's an alright song, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. Then we get to Lost Johnny. It's a pretty damn slow song, but I don't mind it. I really don't. I think it's a cool little song. It's, it just reminds me of, like, um, you know, driving on, like, a, a lost desert highway, you know? Like, yeah, you're, you're just driving, all these miles passing by. There was just no one around, no other cars, like, you know, like in a Hitcher, you know, in that movie. It's a great movie, by the way, like those sort of roads. Same goes for Iron Horse slash Born to Lose, uh, which I think is a much stronger song. That's probably the best song of this album, I would say. I feel like this is kind of like an anthem for motorcyclers, I guess. Or at least you could certainly use it as, a, as a, an anthem if you're <laughs> riding a motorcycle. But again, th like I said, this is also work really well. We're just driving on this lost sort of highway. Then we get to White Line Fever, and actually Lemmy wrote an autobiography, and uh, he called that White Line Fever as well. I think this is one of the best songs on the album as well. Uh, this one just works really well. It definitely has some a good tone and, and some really good riffs in it, so that's cool. Then we get to Keep Us On The Road, which is just, you know, it's about touring and all, but it's, it's a good song, but it's done better later. You know what I mean? Like, um, Road Crew on Ace of Spades album. It's a much better song. It's, basi it's basically like a cover of Keep Us On The Road, almost. I guess you could say that. I mean, it's the same concept, but just 
done way better, I think. However, I don't mind the song. Just keep in mind that I don't hate any of these songs. I love them all. There's not a single Motorhead song that I really dislike. There are none. There are some I find mediocre. But there are no songs that I hate by Motorhead. Then we get to The Watcher, which is kind of an interesting song in terms of sound and all. I think the vocals especially are kind of interesting on this one. It's a bit different. But again, it's not a really truly memorable song or anything. I feel like this is one of the better songs of the album though. I don't know, it's not an, a Motorhead essential for me personally. The Train Kept Rolling is really cool and I really like the intro of this one actually. It, I mean, it sounds, well, it sounds like a train basically. <laughs> So yeah, that intro is amazing. This would have worked pretty well as, a, as an opening track for the album. Uh, however, it's, it's uh, on my release, at least on this one, it is on side C. And it's actually the middle track of side C because it's in between The Watcher and City Kids. And City Kids is also a pretty cool song, but it's, again, it's a forgettable song too. Like, I just listened to it, but if someone would be like, you, you know the City Kids by Motorhead? And I'm like, yeah, it's from the debut album, but the song wouldn't pop into my mind, you know? Which, if you would ask me, um, for example, do you know the song Civil War by Motorhead, which is on the Overnight Sensation album? I'd be like, hell yeah, man. And that song would just instantly play in my mind because I love that song so damn much. And I listened to that album so many more times than this one because this is kind of a weaker album, in my opinion. Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers is fine. And Eddie even sung on this uh, song, which is kind of interesting. Um, he wouldn't do that until, again, until um, Bomber with um, Step Down, I think. But on this song, actually, Lemmy and Eddie sing. So that's really cool. Then we get to On Parole, which kind of has like this cool drumming. It's kind of upbeat, you know, it has a, it's a nice tune. But again, it's not memorable by any means, nor is it like a song I think of when I think of Motorhead, you know. Then we get to Instro which is an instrumental song, um, and it's kind of like, whatever, you know. It's probably the, the most forgettable song of the album. I don't think rock and roll should be instrumental. Um, if I want to listen to instrumental stuff, I'll listen to John Carpenter or something, or the Blade Runner soundtrack, whatever, you know. <laughs> it's, it's just like whatever, right? Uh, and then we get to I'm Your Witch Doctor, which is a better song for sure. There's one part in I'm Your Witch Doctor which I really like, which is uh, this part. I feel like that's kind of catchy and I kind of like that. And I think uh, Lemmy and Eddie, like that combination as vocals is kind of interesting too. Um, you wouldn't really see that in any other albums. So that's what, I guess that's one of the things that makes this album original. However, the album overall, I barely re listen to it because I, I just simply, you know, don't really like it, <laughs> to be honest. It's a very mediocre album in my opinion. I do not hate any of it. I don't even dislike any of it. I just think it's all very forgettable and not really worth re-listening, you know, a lot of times, which with later albums, I have a lot more. Because with later albums, I had re listen to those like every month, you know, because I love them so fucking much. <laughs> However, I'm going to be reviewing every single Motorhead album in the next couple of months. I'm not sure how long it will take. I'm not even sure if I'll do this weekly or monthly or whatever. I guess we'll just find out. But I mostly wanted to talk about albums such as Overnight Sensation, or Sacrifice, or Kiss of Death, or Hammered, you know, the later albums, because I really have a lot of passion for those albums, especially since they're hated so much. Like, I really like those albums. I prefer Overnight Sensation over Ace of Spades, um, <laughs> which I'm guess, I guess I'm the only one in the world, but I really wanted to, to make my mark and, and give my opinions my very controversial uh, opinions on the Motorhead albums, but I did feel like I had to review all of them instead of just doing my favorites, you know? So I guess I'll start with the self-titled one. We're done with the self-titled one. Now on to Overkill next time. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, maybe comment, call me an asshole for preferring Overnight Sensation over Ace of Spades. I mean, how dare I? Honestly, that's all I got to say for now. Join the Slasher Army today by subscribing or maybe joining the Facebook group. I'm doing a giveaway once you reach 100 members. 
we're halfway there, baby. So um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You have waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.